I had my check in yesterday. Mm -hmm. I am 253 pounds. Like, I'm, I'm a couple of pounds off being the heaviest of all time. Uh, but my sleep is fucking horrendous. And every time I get to like 250, I feel so shit. I will sleep a long time, I'm still lethargic, and I feel my cognitive function just isn't there. Um, so it's been recommended that I get a sleep apnea. Get one by next week. Sleep apnea machine. If, if it makes you feel any better, I'm not 250 and my sleep is fucking horrendous. You are skinny, aren't you? But yeah, I've got a Darth Vader mask. Good. I'm gonna be like. Did you see that, that video I sent you? With Darth, Darth India. Uh, having a CPAP machine is a rite of passage for open bodybuilders. And some, some pros, don't get me wrong, some don't. But a lot, I know a lot of pros have said that they do have it and the sleep is better without with it. But also they struggle to sleep with a mask on the fucking face. Yeah. I'm gonna be f like fucking bane. Another thing is, I had a phone call from the MRI people. I'm getting an MRI scan on my shoulder, but they're having to move me to a different machine. Because in their words, I'm too broad. Where they moved you to? The, the main building. No. Yeah, uh, there's a, like a victim MRI machine, which you'll fit in, and then there's the, there, not, not sleeping. the one for the, the sleep apnea kings. People want to get fucking massive, but a lot of people aren't prepared to live through the consequences of trying to get fucking massive. And that is requiring eating a lot of fucking food until you're very fucking full and then eating some more food and training really fucking hard and feeling really heavy. Struggling sometimes to put on your fucking shoes. This is, you know, constantly having fucking health checks to make sure what you're doing is you know, not gonna fucking kill you early. You are in a good place. Oh, cool thing is, I had my MRI results back on my heart. It was just a checkup. My heart is healthy. My health's in a good place. My blood's are in a good place. My blood pressure's in a good place. My blood glucose is in a good place. And these are the things that a lot of people won't even consider when they are going to go with Sissy is having these fucking health checks or making the effort or paying for these health checks because you know, they just wanna get massive and not know the consequences of that it's not about that bro if you're gonna get fucking massive do it right pole day today in the gymnasium of strength asylum we have a fantastic pole day i don't think we filled one in this little series of hours i'm gonna start off with a very interesting superset obviously because of my shoulder i can't pull down shit tons of weight but i still need to output a lot to be able to stimulate growth we're using an intensifier this, for me, is going to warm up my shoulders quite nicely. Something I saw Samson Dauda do. Uh, it's essentially a pullover supersetting with a pull down. And fuck me, the pump that I get is great. And it's safe to say my lats are blown the fuck up after this. And they're very much activated, ready for the fucking workout. Might be something to check out. So uh, we're going to do a couple of sets on this. Have a good time. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't have to be hard, heavy fucking music. Because at the end of the day, I'm trained to energy. And if I'm just feeling a certain song, I'm enjoying it, and it hits the dopamine spot, that's gonna cross over into my fucking train. It doesn't have to be ah! in my fucking ears all the time. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's this, this, it, in my heart. Right, I'm gonna train now. Okay. Yes! Hang on! Hang on! Hang 
Come on. Yep. Full fucking way. Drive. Stretch. Full stretch. There we fucking go. Full stretch. Nice. Yep. A super set like this but for me what I'm doing is I'm, I'm basing it on how this is feeling like the connection I'm getting is better oh, yeah. and I'm able to fly a lot more fucking reps um, obviously we're both at the stack now as long as it's under 20 reps I'm fine yeah. um, I can tell this is being progressive can't be exact because it is a super set but again I can tell this is being progressive and uh, we've got the rest of the session to gauge whether we're being progressive with our performance. Well I, I, I get a very good connection with that anyway like I've always had a very good connection with that but with this particular one it just hits like the right up top that, that bit where it does actually insert into this area you know what I mean and I don't really get that off anything else. Like yeah. it's easy to get the rest of it but it's really hard to get this. Mm. It's just knocking this off at the start of the session just sets up a really really nice session. Yeah. The fat fucking fat pump. pump. I like the ability to connect with exercise after that is like well, on the you, fucking you feel like, like Derek? Yeah. You know Derek Slats? Der right, feel this you? Derek Slats? Derek Slats. <laughs> Who's Derek Slats? Feel, feel this, Derek Slats, feel that. Oh yeah, it's like Derek See Slats. Slats. We're doing that focus row now. And this is really gonna focus and emphasize the lat thickness, the lower lat thickness. Because what you gotta think about when you train your back, it's pretty much the most complex part to train. There's loads of different muscle groups. A lot of people just get on any back machine uh, without the thought of where specifically they're training. And they go, yeah, I'm just fucking training back. You know, but if you want a full complete back, which to be honest, it, it's quite a rarity. There needs to be attention to detail. There needs to be some thought behind the exercise selection and how you fucking execute it. So with this, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be trying to train my lower lats to lat focus row. And with this, I'm going to be keeping that in mind and execute it accordingly and focus on getting that connection. set to size, upper back focus. You see me use this T-bar a couple of times if you've watched the videos. I love this because you can really adjust the D-handles to get that alignment like I spoke about to hit that upper back. So what I'm focusing on is my elbows out, and then my shoulders roll forwards, so I'm protracting the scapula and then retracting. This machine, very fucking hard. And before I used to do retractions to warm up my shoulder for this, but now I can go straight into it. it feels fucking great, I feel strong this session. Again, this is to train your upper back, your traps, your rhomboids, etc. for that thickness. Witness the thickness, bitches.
good, man. Very good. Oh, it's fucking sick. So, finishing off with another upper back trap exercise, this is scapular retractions, supersetted with shrugs. Now what you'll notice is we've had two lat exercises and two upper back focused exercises. And we all also notice is, I'll do my lighter set first as a working set and then my heavier set afterwards. I find that's uh, just a good way for my shoulder to output as much as possible. That's the aim with the set is to output as much as physically possible with good form. With this injury, I've had to find new ways to do that. High rep first and then do the lower rep. Yeah. It's just it, man. I would use like a reverse pack deck. So uh, again, shoulder fuckery. With this, I'm able to sort of angle and align myself a little bit better around the injury. Just get a good, decent connection still. So you'll see that I'm angling it down, but I'm also going outwards. Great way to hit the rear of the hood. I think that's the best bicep exercise there is. It's because I cable tension throughout. And also, you should do one side at a time, to be honest. If you've got the opportunity to do an exercise like that for your biceps, do it. The fucking connection is on a rail. So that is a pull day. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, of course, let me know what the shit you want to see from me. Obviously, I want to make shit that you want to see. But until next time, go get those gains. I'll see you in a bit.